Welcome to the Jezda Summit interview series. And with us, Itzhak Fried, Professor of Neurosurgery and Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences at USCLA, and also on the Faculty of Medicine at Tel Aviv University. And you participated in a session called Augmenting Consciousness. So your research um, has helped to understand the brain's functions during awake and sleep states. Can you tell us a little bit more about it and what you, where you anticipate this research to go in the next few years? Yeah, so as, as a neurosurgeon, you know, I have a unique opportunity uh, really to interact essentially with patients who are awake sometimes during brain surgery on when we implant electrodes in the brain, obviously for clinical reasons, in many cases, these are patients with severe epilepsy. So we have a unique uh, opportunity to interact directly and look at, uh, at functions which are u u uniquely human, uh, and human can actually ex express them. So main, uh, my main interest has been really in the content of consciousness, and primarily in memory, and will, which are really two, two aspects are very important to our daily ex existence. Uh, and in memory, we have shown particular uh, individual cells in the brain which can code concepts, can code places, and, and those, uh, this information is being transformed not only during waking time, but also during sleep, so that the consolidation of, of memory is done at that period of time. Now, what we can do and what we study is ways to intervene in order to actually enhance, you know, this process, you know, of, of memory formation. Is this a hope for people who have Alzheimer's or dementia or diseases like that? Well, I think this is sort of the, the end goal, uh, really, is being able uh, to, uh, to help these this people. I mean, I'm always saying, well, you know, we have hearing aid. Well, why not have a memory aid? Uh, so obviously, it, it may be of, of help to people, especially in the early stages where one feels, you know, that they're slipping you know, to an, into a an, uh, time when they cannot quite encode and process information. But there are some ethical issues, I imagine, because you could actually be also changing our emotions or even maybe our free will? Well, you know, we, we do see signatures in the, in the brain uh, of uh, will even before you are aware of that will. So obviously that kind of knowledge, you know, has two uh, sides to it. I mean, we are trying uh, to use it in, in helping uh, people helping patients, but obviously it can, it has a potential of, of being uh, misused. Yes. So we have to be careful. I think we have to be careful. We have to regulate this uh, technological development and, uh, you know, proceed uh, cautiously. At the same time, you know, we need to enable, you know, funding for, for this thing to actually de develop. Yeah. Thank you very much, Itzhak Fried, for talking with us today. Thank you.